When Doreen and Martina both suffered brain injuries as adults, the hospital was there to provide the urgent medical care they needed. But once they were recovered physically, there was nowhere for them to go. Years passed them by while living in a hospital room with no one to take them out to join activities or meet friends. Both women had a very limited life. Last year, St. Amant opened two homes to give Doreen and Martina and three other individuals the kind of life and opportunity they deserve. Doreen and Martina are both vibrant women who crave a social circle and the time and space to enjoy their favorite activities. Helping them move to the community was a wonderful opportunity to see two people emerge from their shell and begin to enjoy life again. Doreen enjoys crocheting, baking, participating in her weekly drum group, and bingo. The regular routine of the home is important to her, and she works hard to make everyone feel welcome. I don't know how many times I cook bannock uh, since I got out of the hospital. <laughs> I told Tina one time, everything in here is for both of us. <laughs> we share everything. <laughs> Martina loves music and dancing, working out at the local YMYWCA, and enjoys getting outside for fresh air and daily walks. Martina sees Doreen as both a friend and a mentor, taking the opportunity to learn how to cook and practice some of her home language of Cree. It's amazing because the look at help that was smart and, and helpful. They'll take me shopping. I, I lay swimming at the YMCA. I have a roommate. I love, love. I love my staff. Uh, I, I love the community. Although the women require support to get where they need to go, to ensure there's food in the fridge, and to make safe choices, both women choose how to spend their time. St. Amon is proud to support children and adults with developmental disabilities and autism to have a meaningful quality of life because like you and me, each person we support wants to connect with others, feel a part of their community, and make a difference in the world.